Hello everyone, it's Scott and Melissa. This is RV Rolling with MJ. Today we're going to do something a little different. Um, we're going to let you know the 10 items that we have found in our experience so far in uh, RVing that have been uh, lifesavers. Uh, I'm not going to say the best gadgets that we've come across because believe me there are a lot more expensive gadgets um, out there and things that are real, a little more practical, but these are just things that have made um, RVing easier, and especially for somebody that's very lazy, like myself, it, it sort of just made things easier for us. So like all our videos, we ask that you please uh, subscribe to our channel, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you'll be notified whenever we put out a new video. And remember, subscribe only if you like what you see if you don't like what you see you don't have to subscribe but we'd like you to subscribe so the first one that we have is this fan and the, the great thing about this fan is um, so when you if you want a boondock let's say you don't and you can't use the air conditioning these fans uh, they run on battery um, either battery or you could hook it into the USB um, off of your batteries um, or you can just plug them in either either way and what's great is they are uh, extendable so they go up say this high and they just sit there and cool you off so we're in Florida most of the time so far so um, don't run the air conditioning all night these are enough to be on us that we don't need air conditioning and these are great because they could compact believe um, me they're really good they're really good and they just fold up very nicely into like these cylinders and we have two of them um, and again the best thing about them is you don't have to plug them in they're battery powered and you can plug them into your usb ports okay so number two is the shower dispenser that we put in our shower in our rv it looks like this and it's, it's the box of it it's the one we have is is in the on the wall of the shower and it has a place for your uh, shampoo, your conditioner, and shower gel. And it's great because you just fill it up, and when you're in there, you don't have to worry about, you know, taking your bottle of shampoo, putting it in, and then when you're on the road, moving it away. Because it's in there, and you never have to put it away each time. Yep, and I hung, I I it. hung it up, so it, it took me uh, 10 minutes uh, to install it, then I had it dry, um, and then I just added the fluids very easy um, again it's a convenience lazy I'm gonna it's gonna be a common word you hear um, don't have to carry shampoo shower gel conditioner whatever else everyone uses All right, number three on our list is uh, this is a these are quick connects for our hoses so um, we as, as everyone knows you have the, the hose um, that uh, the, the fresh water hose and let's say the blank flush hose um, to the side of your RV and what was happening over time uh, every time you connect them you try to screw them in and it takes forever and sometimes the thread wears out and it hangs and and it's just you know how difficult it is the fitting is unbalanced and it's just a pain in the neck so I can imagine over time that was gonna break so what I um, saw online is these quick connects and how this works is um, this this part here goes in attaches to your RV one time and you put that in and it's there um, you know permanently let's say and that'll stay on the RV all the time and then anytime you have the, the, the blue hose or the green hose you put this on permanently and then whenever you connect the hose all you did in like that and you're hooked but there's no turning every time you have to connect the hoses. And then to disconnect, you just do that and pull it out. So this has saved me, saves a lot of time. One, two, three, done. And also the wear and tear on the fittings on the RV um, is, is gonna in the long run. So th these were probably, I don't know, three or four dollars. Um, you got it at Lowe's. You got it at Lowe's. The number four on our list is something that for people who love to cook, but need it to be easier, especially when you are camping in an RV resort, is a Instapot. So I love, I make all different 
types of meals in it. Like I made a taco soup that came out delicious. Um, and uh, I made chili in it. So it's just easy. It's clean up is easy because it's only one pot to clean up in. So I love that. And it usually goes very fast. So number five on our list, uh, what we find, especially in Florida in the summer, uh, actually it's not just the summer, it's probably like April through October, when we sit outside it is extremely hot and we, while we could have the awning um, above us, it's still extremely hot. I'd love to have air, air conditioning out here, but obviously it's not practical. So what we came up um, with, well actually we didn't come up with, we came up with this, I'd be a millionaire. Um, um, we purchased a mister. Um, it's a it's a mist cooling kit, and all this is is basically a hose that runs along your awning um, with little holes from it, and you hook one end um, into the the water faucet outside, and what happens? The water goes through and sprays a mist. So, like if you're online at like Disney World or at a sporting event, and it has that mist. Well, this shoots water down, um, so th this probably lowers the temperature about uh, 20 degrees, and in Florida, that th that's a really big deal. So th this was a good one as well. Number six on our list, making our life a little easier, is uh, with our green and blue hoses that we have in the RV. They were so cumbersome, um, so big um, and heavy, every time dragging them uh, to and from, uh, the faucet and, and even um, somebody storing them in the RV was a problem. So um, we found these very light and more importantly, um, ho you know, the cl like cloth hoses. I don't know what the material is made of. What does it feel like to you? Cloth? Some kind of, some kind of cloth, but it's, it's very good. It's uh, a Zero G is the company that makes these. and. Um, Obviously, they you can see they can stack up. Um, they can so you know try to get your hoses um, to go this uh, this small. thin, small. I mean, you can stick this in the glove compartment if you needed to, but it makes things very easy. And as I showed you before, the, the click connect, so you'd put it on here and just put it right into the uh, um, RV. The the one downside of this is um, these do tend to you know ravel up um, and you know something you try to avoid so it, it, it's it's one disadvantage of having these you know un, uncurling these uh, could be a problem at time but um, I think the benefits of the light weightness and uh, the ability to compact these down outweighs uh, that problem so these these were great and I think I, I got these at Lowe's as well and I think it was I think it was thirty five dollars something like that. So th these are great. So number seven on our list is something that helps when you're cooking outside. And I've made so many great things with it, like uh, chicken fried rice, the most delicious cheeseburgers. I've done pancakes and eggs. It's really been a uh, great thing to have with the RV, and it's called the Blackstone and uh, it's great. So it uses propane, and of course you could buy um, uh, propane, the small tanks or the larger tanks and, and hook it in to the side. But if you have R, you know, RV quick connect on the side um, of your RV, with, with many of us do, um, you just need the right um, uh, connector, adapter, and you know, this hooks right into the uh, uh, RV, I'm sorry, right into the Blackstone like that and this is a quick connect right into the side of the RV and you got your propane so you use the propane from your RV. Number eight on our list are these uh, gravity chairs and uh, uh, these came in a pack of two. Um, as you can see Melissa demonstrates um, how you can sit all the way back in it and fold up. I think we got two for a hundred dollars and show them how it kind of stacks up, how it folds up. So. Very easy when you want to use them. They fold up like that and you stick them in the back of the RV. So number nine on our list is something that's helped us get around because we don't hook up our car to our RV. 
and we've been able to go all different places with these e-bikes. This is an electric bike that we bought from Electric online and we love it because you can pedal, you can pedal, it has um, assist. If you need all you can do the whole thing and you can uh, have them, the bike carry you through and it's a lot of fun and we really do enjoy it because we get to really see the place. These, these bikes, they fold in half so they, so we're able to keep it inside our RV um, if you have a big storage like we do in our, in our RV. Because we can go um, 50 miles, I mean you can go forever if you want to bike forever with these. If you just want to use pedal assist, which is just a leisurely bike um, ride, you can go 50 miles with these. Um, and uh, if you just want to go in scooter mode, which is not pedal at all, you can go 25 miles. So if you're at a campsite, don't want to have a you don't have a car, you can go anywhere that's probably like a 25 mile radius without having to stress about getting back with uh, with a bike. So these have been, um, so far, absolutely great. And I have one, Melissa has an electric bike, it's called Electric, capital L. And I have a GoTrack bike, um, pretty much the same. Uh, these are the lower end of the electric bikes. I mean, they, they range, you, you can get one for three, four thousand dollars, and you can get one for eight hundred dollars. So, big range uh, with these uh, electric bikes. So, the number 10, which is our last on our list, is something that when we were riding the bikes, we weren't able to communicate. Sometimes Scott might be ahead of me and I have to stop and there really wasn't, you know, um, way to, and we could have used our phones, but it just takes a while. So we found these great helmets and they're made by Senna, S-E-N-A, and you can get it all different colors. He got it in black, I got it in turquoise, and you able to communicate with each other. So while we're biking, we're talking to each other, or if I need to tell them I need to stop. And it also plays music. And also if somebody calls you while you're riding a your bike, you can answer and speak to whoever's on the phone with the helmets. And they're great, and they protect you too. So you gotta be careful out there while you're riding your bikes. We have a bonus gadget for you. Um, and this is one most asked about. We don't have it on this trip, but as you'll see in the footage, um, we use this pretty much every trip um, that we go on. It's our um, inflatable kayak. And again, similar to the bike, where you have to have a rack or you have to have a car, um, uh, ki the, the inflatable kayak, we can fold that up into like a duffel bag. And it actually holds about 650 pounds so um, it, it could have Melissa and I, and if our grandson is together, I think our daughter was in it once, uh, our son was in it once. So you could have three, you know, full-size people in it, and it's, uh, it's, it's an inflatable kayak. It's lasted me probably five years and no issues whatsoever. It's, this one's made, um, made by Sea Eagle. Uh, they make inflatable kayaks. Everybody, comments on it. They, they, it's like they've never seen something like this before. So it's absolutely great. We used it a lot. Anytime I could do something easier, I like to tell people about it. Because I know from our, our channel so far, we're finding a lot of people that are just starting RVing, a lot of people starting a YouTube channel. And you know, I was, I was rather surprised. I mean, I know there's a lot of you out there that have had channels for years and doing fantastic. But there's a lot of people just getting into this now, and they're they're new, as are we. So anything that I can pass on in my limited experience, um, I think it's great. So um, again, look look forward to more videos like this as we go forward. And also, please uh, comment, especially if you tried any of the items that we that we already saw, or if you have an item that we didn't list that you think is a great addition to your RV life. We would love to hear all about it. Okay, until next week, we will see you on the road. Hello, Evie. Ready? It's done. <laughs> Did you say hello? Do is you. I didn't say. All you do is. No. Hold on. Okay. 
So all you do is you just put the so so all you do. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. <laughs> okay. So all you do is uh, if this is the RV and this is your hose, you just put it in once, like. It is. Huh? I one hand. Number six on our list. List. 